Hello, Transform. I mean, uh, Digimon fans. This is a review from me, which I don't usually do, and this time it's about Digimon figures, which were popular in the sort of late 90s, early 2000s, and luckily I managed to find someone selling one of these sets sealed the other day for quite cheap, and I bought it out of nostalgia. Inside you also have a poster. I'm not sure if this is meant to be all the figures that were released. I don't think they actually released that many from what I recall. But it just seems to be a collection of all the Digimon that appeared in the anime. And first up we have um, Surprise Pikachu, I mean um, Patamon. As you know, um, if you watch Digimon, Patamon is quite an iconic character. He is probably one of the main mascot Digimon that you'd see across the franchise along with Agumon. I think he's pretty cool. His surprise look does just look like that surprise Pikachu meme. Yeah, he's, he's, it's a Panamon. He's not posable. Cool toy, though. Uh, next, we have Poramon, who's the in-training form of Hawkmon. And it's just a head with some bird features on it. I mean, they're, they're pretty cool, but yeah, it's just a head. And then you get Hawkmon, who's like pretty much the feature character of this set, since you get Hawkmon's in-training stage, and then Hawkmon's the rookie stage. Then you get the two armored Digivolutions, which are coming next. Um, I think this figure looks pretty good. Um, I think with the Digimon figures in general, the rookies turned out better than the um, slightly bigger ones in training. Worked well with scale as well. Uh, we have Holsamon, who is the armored Digivolved form of Hawkmon using the Crest of Love. So you can see it's um, the feet are different colors at the back. Not entirely sure if this was how it was done in the show, um, but it's still a cool figure to have, I guess. It's good having the set of all the Digivolutions. Next we have Shuramon, who is the um, from the Digiego Sincerity. Um, yeah, it's like a plant ninja creature, which I actually thought was pretty cool. Uh, next up we have Sneemon, who is a uh, Sneemon and Coagamon and all them. They're just kind of just generic Digimon, especially in Season 2 as they started to appear in larger numbers. Um, so it's good just having this one. This one is the biggest at the set. And now we have all of them together. You can see how they all scale and how they all look, and I'd recommend this set. It's fun for nostalgia. The winner of this set's probably like Hawkmon and Patamon, maybe leaning towards Patamon. Um, I'd recommend this. 